Here we are. This is going to be a brief tutorial on how to do the fine-tune alignment, especially with the camera, for the Citizen Kate, Citizen Tom setup. Here we are in SharpCap, and you're going to need to go over and select your camera. See that the Citizen Kate Grasshopper camera is right there. And I've already gone through and made sure that I had found the sun and it was nicely centered. Now, the first thing you're going to do is change the capture area. The 20 by 48, 20 by 48 is too large for our image processor to handle. So we're going to change the window. And we want this 15 by 36 square. Now we can reselect it by recenter it by dragging or by moving the camera itself. All right, that'll be good for now. You can change your exposure here uh, simply by typing in the number or by dragging the slider bar. And what we're looking for is we want to make sure that the center of the disk is not oversaturated. So see how there are no bright white pixels in here? And yet we want to get as much detail around the limb as we can. And we're looking for the granulation patterns here on the disk of the sun on the face. So if you can see that there are some uh, there's some modeled detail in there, that's what we want to achieve. So I could probably play with the focus and get this just a little bit better, but we're going to work with this for right now. What we're going to do is first we need to make sure that the camera is aligned. So to do that, we're going to position the sun's disk right along the edge of the window. So about Well, that's good enough. And what we need to do is we're going to move the sun up and down, and we want the distance between the sun's disk and the edge of the window to remain the same. See how I'm closer at the top and further at the bottom? That means I need to rotate the camera in the telescope. All right, there we go. This is a bit of a trial and error process. All right, looks like I over-rotated. And that should be, whoop, I went the wrong way. That should be just about right. I could probably get it a little bit closer, but for the purposes of the tutorial here, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to recenter the sun. The next steps that we're going to do focus on making sure that the mount is aligned as precisely as possible. We're going to start with fixing any east to west drift and then we're going to move to the north-south drift. So for east-west, uh, you see that over time we are getting a little bit of a, a drift. Now what I want to do is to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to go back to my widest window, even though I'm not going to stay there permanently. Uh, and what we're going to do is simply look for what direction the sun moves over the course of time. Now Really, all you're going to do is you're going to set the altitude on your telescope to match your latitude on the globe. So I've already uh, measured mine. I can see a little bit of a drift, so I'm going to adjust accordingly. Make sure that you make small moves here. If you adjust too much at one time, you're going to lose the sun from your viewing window and have to refind it, which can be no fun. So let me recenter approximately. At the starting out stages, you don't need to worry about being 
too picky about how you line the sun up within the crosshairs. The main thing is that you're able to look for drift over time. Uh, the nice thing about sharp cap is you can actually drag the reticule over to where you want it to be. So it looks like my left right alignment is pretty good. I'm seeing very little drift. I'm also seeing very little drift in the north south. So I'm going to go ahead and move back over to my uh, desired viewing window. The more you zoom in, the more noticeable any drift is going to be. Here I'm looking pretty good. My drift is still very minimal in the east-west direction, so I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to look for drift in the north-south direction. I'm getting just a little bit of drift to the north, and so as you see on the table here, I want to move the azimuth to the east. So here's your north. Remember that west is the direction that the sun drifts. All objects drift naturally, and we want to move it this way. It's a fairly small amount of drift, so I'm going to make a fairly small move in my adjustment. Recenter. And watch for additional drift. Okay, I'm looking pretty good. Um, I could continue to zoom in more and continually refine this alignment simply by choosing smaller and smaller capture areas and then looking at how the sun moves according to the reticule. But for the moment, I'm going to leave it here. This demonstrates the principles fairly well. Ideally, you want as small a drift as possible. Remember that the sun does move compared to the celestial background. So a drift of two pixels per minute to the east is the sign of a perfect alignment. Get as close to that as you can, but don't stress too much.